हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रश्मि सिंह वेलकम टू माय चैनल अनरैवलिंग साइंस लेट्स हैव अ मोमेंट ऑफ साइंस प्लीज साइंस इज द प्रोसेस दैट टेक्स अस फ्रॉम कंफ्यूजन टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग टुडेज टॉपिक इज फोर्स एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशन In this video we are going to learn about what is a force balanced and unbalanced forces force of friction newton's law of motion inertia and momentum conservation of momentum what is force A force is an effort that changes the state of an object at rest or at motion. It can change an object's direction and velocity. Force can also change the shape of the object. Force and force can make object move. It can move uh, it can stop the moving object and it can also change the shape of an object. force enable us to do any work and to do anything we either push or pull the object thus push and pull is called as force the formula for force acting on an object with mass m and acceleration a is f is equals to m into a the si unit of force is newton 1 newton is equals to 1 kg per m meter per second square another unit of force is dyne balanced and unbalanced forces balanced forces when equal amounts of force are applied to an object from different directions such that they cancel out each other such forces are called as balanced forces Balance forces do not cause change in motion. As you can see in the picture, equal amount of force that is 300 newton is acting on both sides of the rope. Hence net force is zero, so no change is taking place and it is a balanced force. Unbalanced forces When forces applied to an object are of different magnitude and not in opposite direction to cancel out each other such forces are called unbalanced forces These forces can change the state of rest or motion of an object and can accelerate an object or can change the shape and size of the object As you can see in the picture on one side the force of 300 newtons and on the other side force is 100 newtons so the net force is 300 minus 100 200 newtons so the side with 300 force can pull the rope in their direction this is an unbalanced force force of friction the force that opposes the relative motion of an object is called friction it arises between the surfaces in contact As you can see in the picture there is a force applied on the object called pushing force uh, which causes the motion of the object and another force which is acting on the opposite direction of the applied pushing force which restricts the object's motion is the friction force Newton's law of motion Newton gave three laws of motion Newton's first law of motion is also known as law of inertia A body continues to be in the state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless an external unbalanced force is applied to it. As you can see in the picture a ball remains at rest until kicked and when it is kicked it attains motion and only stops when an external unbalanced force is applied to it. Inertia All objects have a tendency to resist the change in the state of rest or motion. This tendency is called as inertia. 
inertia of rest an object at rest remain at rest until an external force is applied to it as you can see in the picture when a car accelerates the passenger feels their body moving backwards this is because of inertia is making their body stay in place similarly when a pile of coin on the carom board is hit by a striker coin at the bottom of the pile moves away leaving the rest of the pile of the coin at the same place inertia of motion an object continues to be in motion until a force acts on it a person standing in a moving bus falls forward if the driver applies brake suddenly in this condition legs of a person which are in contact with the bus come in the state of rest while the rest of the body is in motion so the passenger feels a jerk similarly the box on the top of the moving vehicle falls down as soon as the brakes are applied as the vehicle comes to rest but the box is still in the state of motion so it falls down inertia and mass inertia of a, of an object depends upon its ma mass lighter objects have less inertia heavier objects have large inertia since heavy objects have more inertia it is difficult to push or pull the heavy objects over the ground than the lighter one momentum momentum is the power of motion of an object it is the product of mass and velocity of an object it is denoted by p p is equals to m into v where m is the mass and v is the velocity for example a person gets injured when hit by a moving object because of the momentum of the object even a small bullet is able to kill a person when it is fired from a gun because of its momentum due to great velocity momentum of an object which is in the state of rest let's take the mass of an object in rest as m velocity of the object as rest is 0 momentum of the object at rest will be m into 0 so momentum is 0 so the momentum of object at rest is 0 the si unit of momentum is kg meter per second newton second law of motion According to this law the rate of change of momentum of an object is directly proportional to the applied unbalanced force in the direction of the force Mathematical formulation of second law of motion Suppose mass in of, of an object is m initial velocity is z, uh, u final velocity of an object is v initial momentum p1 is equals to m into u final momentum p2 is m into v so change in momentum is equals to final momentum minus initial momentum that will be mv minus mu it can be written as mv minus u thus the rate of change of momentum is equals to change in momentum upon time taken that is mv minus u upon t according to the second law of so second law the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to force so force is directly proportional to mv minus u upon t we know that acceleration a is equals to mv minus u upon t thus we can write f is equals to m into a application of second law of motion a fielder pulls his hand gradually with the moving ball while holding a catch similarly because the mass of each ball in the second picture is different each ball will travel at different distance and different speed when it is hit by the same force third law of motion two forces acting from opposite directions are called action and reaction forces For example a ball when hit the ground is action 
bounce back with a certain force that is reaction force as you can see in the picture. So the third law of motion states that when an object exert a force on another object, the second object instantly exert a force back on the first object. These forces are always equal in magnitude but are opposite in direction. So we can say that according to sec uh, third law of motion, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So you can see in the picture when a bullet is fired from a gun, the gun recoils back. Similarly, when a swimmer exerts a force on the wall, its body is pushed forward. Conservation of Momentum As per the laws of conservation of momentum, the sum of momenta of two objects before and after collisions remains the same given no external force acts on them. So the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. Suppose two objects A and B with mass m1 and m2 and initial velocity u1 and u2 strikes each other at after a time t and starts moving with velocity v1 and v2 respectively. Initial momentum of an object A is m1 and, uh, into u1. Final initial momentum of object B is m2 and u2. Final momentum of object A is m1 v1. Final momentum of B is m2 v2. So the rate of change of momentum in A is m1 v1 minus m1 u1 upon t which can be written as m1 v1 minus u1 upon t. Similarly, the rate of change of momentum of b will be m2 v2 minus u2 upon t. We know from the third law of motion f1 is equals to minus f2 because there are two forces acting opposite to each other. So, m1 v1 minus u1 upon t is equals to minus m2 v2 minus u2 upon t. So, it can be written as when you solve this, you get m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and m1 u1 plus m2 u2. That is final momentum is equals to initial momentum. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe.